Hi, hi, guys. Hi, hi. Hello, good evening, teacher. Ronald, good evening. Hello. How are good you? Evening, it's raining in my house, teacher. For, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Sí está lloviendo? It's raining. Yeah, it's, it's raining. Yeah, correct. Uh, nearby it's... here is raining too. I hope not to have an interruption during the class. Mm, hey, hello, Osmin, Eric. Good evening, Good evening, Good evening, evening. Good evening. Good evening guys. Welcome, George. Jorge Lemus, welcome. Let's Good see evening. who else. Good evening. Daniel Lainez, welcome. Candy Rodriguez, welcome too. Nice to see you. Uh, okay, we are experimenting some rain in some parts of the capital city or where you live. Okay, we hope, esperamos, we hope not to have these connections or interruptions with the with the internet and with the class. Okay, uh, eight in one minute. Let's see. I will share you a link in which you can check the grammar rules about the regular verbs that I told you yesterday. Do you remember that I told you that I was going to send you a link so you can study grammar, okay? No pronunciation, this is grammar for the regular verbs. I will copy the link in this moment and I will share it to you in the chat. Uh, let me look for the chat, okay? Get it open, okay. I send it in this moment. Uh, let me know if you can see it, if you can see the, the link in the chat. Josman, hello, welcome, Mabel. Mabel is said, Karen and Carolina. Okay, Candy, Candy says a thumb up, thumb up, okay, about the link. Copy that link and save it in the, if you are using the computer, copy and save it. Copielo y lo guarda. And you check that link later. Y lo revisa luego. Okay, that is for regular verbs. Okay, for grammar. Uh, spelling rules. Uh, grammar, how to write the verbs. Como escribir los verbos. Regular verbs, specifically. Okay, yes. Do you have the link? Tiene a link? Do you have the link? Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Okay, do you do you hear me? Yes. Hello, hello. Testing microphone. Hello, hello. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Okay, great. Uh, I sent you the link in the chat. Okay, save it and you can check it later. Check later the link. Okay, welcome guys. Uh, this is class number, who knows? Who knows what number class is this one? What number class? 11. 11, yeah, we are in class 11. Tomorrow, we are gonna check the last class of the week, okay? And our, it's going to be uh, three weeks. Okay, three weeks of classes. Okay, great. Uh, let me open the presentation in this moment. But first, I'm going to share my monitor so you can see the monitor. Okay, good day. What, how was your day? Good day. Bad day. How was it? Nice day. Okay, in general terms, how was your day? Good day. Good day. Okay, good day. Okay, excellent. Participants, now I can see my monitor says the message. Okay, um, do you see it? Do you see it? Yes? Yes. Okay, what do you see? Yes, 
in on my screen. What do you see? Is the moon. Ah, okay. Planet? The moon. The moon is stages. Okay. The moon or the moon uh, changes. Los cambios de la luna. Yes. The moon changes. Okay. Great. So you you can see my computer. Okay. Class number eleven. Um, let's start with this one quickly. I will pass this over until the first, okay, and the four areas, you know, the tools. Okay. What are we going to study today? What is the topic? It's simple pass. Simple, simple pass. pass again. Again, otra vez. Repeat it. Repeat it class. Uh -huh. Repeat it class. The same as yesterday. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, simple past, you know, right? Past. Next. Present. Present in, in the future. future. Okay, in the Present. future. Okay, yeah, it is simple past, but future. not the same class. This is a similar class, but not the same class. Okay, what are we going to see? Uh, the sentence is the same one from yesterday. We use... The simple past then mm -hmm. to tell you about finish complete action. Okay, complete. finished with T. Remember finished. pronunciation finished. finished. Uh, completed. Uh -huh. Completed, yes, and completed. completed. Okay, great. Completed. Uh -huh. Very good. You are applying the sounds, the final sounds. Okay, the ED sounds in the simple past for the regular verbs. Very good. Okay, practice that. But in this case, we have, what is the sentence there? Let me see. Um, Ronald, Ronald, what is the sentence in the present? Ronald? I write mm -hmm. a letter to my friend, to my I friend. Write mm -hmm. a letter to my friend. Friend, okay. Hey, teacher, but I see a different verb. I see a different verb. Okay, do you see the, what is the verb? The verb is? Right. Right. Okay, and right is irregular. That is an irregular verb. Okay, that is what we are going to practice today. Irregular verbs. They are different from the regular verbs. Okay, in the simple past, uh, Candy, what is the simple past sentence? Um, the simple past present. No, this is simple past. Simple yeah. past sentence. It's an irregular verb. Yeah, it is an irregular, yes. I wrote, I wrote a letter to my friend. Okay, check. Okay, basically in grammar and pronunciation, the regular verbs change. They change. Right becomes, se convierte en? Wrote. In wrote. Okay, right is simple present. Right wrote. in simple past is wrote. wrote. Correct, wrote. Okay, great. Let's start with wrote. that. Wrote, okay. See, the, the grammar is different and the pronunciation too is different. Okay, no ED in this in this part, no ED in, as in the regular verse. It's totally different. And how can you learn them? Como les puedo aprender? Okay, practice. Again, practice. Practice, practice. Okay, let's see. Irregular. Irregular verb. Simple past. In the simple past. Uh, the, the regular the, verb. The regular verb. The regular verb. You have to learn them. Okay, you have to learn them. Okay, you have to learn them with examples, with practice. Okay, I will show you. This is the this is the website from the link that I shared you a moment ago. Okay, it says, uh, what is an, a regular verb and gives you some explanation and la la la. Okay, but below, below it, it gives you the rules. Okay, grammar rules. 
You can you can check that later. Okay, in this moment, we are not gonna study regular verbs. We are in studying, but see, and one, two, three, four, and four and five. We have we don't have five number five rule. We have six. Okay, and you can check the examples. That is for the regular, but the irregular are different. Okay, what's the simple past? of this irregular verb. Okay, if you know, if you, in any case, if you know the simple past, say it. What is the simple past of this verb? Wrong. Okay, wrong is simple present. Wrong. Okay, simple past? Run. Run. Uh, run. Can you spell it if you remember the grammar, the grammar part? R A M. R A N. Okay, R A N. That is correct. The simple past is run. Run. Yeah. Is it different from the simple present? Is it different? Yes or no? Yes. It is different. Yes. Okay. That's why the sentence says the regular verbs are a little bit different of the regular verbs. There are no special rules that is studying and practicing. Okay, next. The next verb is. Speak. Speak. Okay, you are you are speaking English in this moment. And uh, what is the simple past? Speak. Uh, can you can you spell it? S P M O A K. Okay. Okay. Very good. It is uh, S P. Okay, the same letters, the same two letters at the beginning. S P O K. Uh -huh. And next at the end. At the end is letter E. Letter E is spoke. Correct. Oh. I spoke. I spoke. You spoke English in last night's class. Usted habló inglés en la clase de noche. Yes. Okay, he spoke, habló. Next, next verb is? Fight. Well, person is? Fight. 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 Uh, okay, run in the games. For example, in the fighting games, uh, the presenter says uh, round one, fight. And you start fighting with your opponent. Okay, and what is a simple pass? Yes. Who knows? Who knows? Quién sabe? Fault. Simple pass. Is? Fault. Fault. Uh, fault. Mm, let's check. Okay. Let's check. Um. Let's use this one. Okay. That is a simple past. Oh, okay. But I have it. Okay. Okay. Fought. Let's repeat. Fought. Can you try? Fought. 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 Okay, it's not foe. It's not foe. Foe is in Fought. grammar because it, because it has letter O in U. But pronunciation Fought. is? Fought. 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 Correct. It is fat. fought. Okay, very good. That is number three. Fight. It's fought. Fought. Yeah, fought. Pelio. Okay. And, and the last one is? Sleep. Simple present. Sleep. Sleep. Okay, sleep. In the simple past. Slept. 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 Yes, slept. This one, slept. Okay, slept. Okay, and that is the simple past. If you check, all of them are different. In some irregular verbs, they are, they are the same. Okay, I will show you some later. Okay, let's see. We have this part. Irregular. Someone, someone, irregular. Irregular. Irregular verb. Simple thoughts, negative. In negative. Okay, it's very similar from yesterday class, but um, we are using irregular instead of regular. We form negative sentence in simple thoughts by using the auxiliary did 
in negative. Negative. Okay, let's repeat this word because it's plural. Sentences. Sentences. Ah, okay, that is correct. Sentences because it's plural. Okay, good. Um, same as yesterday. Lo mismo de ayer. Same as yesterday. Negative auxiliary for the simple passes. Didn't. Is didn't. Okay, the same. Yes. This. When didn't. If used. In negative uh -huh. sentences, verbs form are normal, no simple past forms. No simple past forms. Okay, no as no as left, no wrote, no ran, no thoughts. Okay, no simple past forms when you use didn't. Okay, help me um, with the first sentence. Uh, Marcela, Marcela Rodriguez, hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Marcela, one, Marcela, Hi, two. Good hello, good evening. There you are. Okay, help me with the affirmative sentence number one. I run a race at the stadium. A stadium, a stadium. Okay, I run a race at the stadium. What is the simple past? Marce? I didn't. Run a race at the stadium. At the stadium. Okay, guys, if you check, you use didn't in the normal verb, no simple past forms. Because didn't or a did is already in past, just in pasado. So you don't need to use the verb in the simple past. Only in the normal, the normal way, normal, the formal normal. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ada, Ada Marilu, hello, hello. Ada Marilu at one, at two, at three. Is she's not in class? Uh, Edwin Antonio, Edwin at one, Edwin at two, Edwin at three. No in class, neither. Yes. Ah, okay, be ready, be ready. Okay, S second sentence. Okay. Jamie, buy some snap for the party. Okay, that is affirmative, right? Yes. Okay, great. And what happens in the negative? Jamie didn't buy some snack for the party. Okay, very good. And what happens in in the simple past? Can you can you become this one? Become in simple past. I I run a race at the stadium. Okay, the second one is Jamie bought. Some snap for the part. Boat, uh, boat. Uh, let's check if it's boat uh, pronunciation. Okay, that is the verb. Bot. Bot, repeat. Bot. Bot. Okay, let's check. Uh, I guess in this one, yeah, it appears. Bot. Bot. Repeat, bot. Bot. Bot, right. yes, it is bot. I am American. But. But. Okay, but. That is the simple past, correct? Can you spell it? Um, can you spell it, Osmin? Osmin Rivera? Hello? Can you spell the simple Good past evening, of by? Good evening. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, uh -huh. can you spell it, B? Okay, spell it letter by letter, B, D, 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 etc. Boom. Spell, spell it. The letter, spell. B, O, U, G, H, T. Okay, and, okay, great, excellent. B, O, U, G, H, T. Okay, and that is simple past. Okay, affirmative. Simple past. Okay, very good. Next one. Next, um, let me see. Victor, Victor Portillo is in class. Victor, today. Yes, yes, I'm here. Nice. Okay, this one in the simple present. And simple present. My sister comes with a friend. Okay, you see that is. And it has uh, a letter S. Okay. Uh -huh. With yeah. the simple present. Okay. In the third person, what happens in? In the past, the simple past, can you be be or transform came. it? Uh -huh. Yeah, and um, came. My sister came with a friend. 
Ah, okay. Let's see. You mean this one? Uh huh. That verb. Yes, can, can, ah, can. Okay. What is the pronunciation? Okay, let's uh, check. Because we need to check. We need to check pronunciation in the simple past of the regular verbs. Can, let's see. Came. 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 Repeat came. came, guys. Can you repeat it? Came. 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 Okay, my sister came yesterday, for example. Yes. Okay, came. And in yes. the negative, Victor, in the uh, negative. Yeah. Uh, my sister didn't, uh, my sister didn't come with a friend. Oh, didn't, my sister. Uh -huh. didn't, didn't came come. or didn't come. What is the correct one? Is this sentence correct? Guys, is the sentence correct? Yes or no? Oh. This one is simple past. Didn't. Yes, it is correct. Yeah. But and the negative. next one. Uh -huh. My sister didn't come with a friend. Okay. And what about that one? Is it correct or incorrect, the sentence? Uh, for me, it's correct because uh, always uh, uh, the birth is in basic form. Okay. If you if you use a uh, negative, a uh, simple past, because okay. you use uh, the auxiliary didn't. Okay, uh, that is correct. Yes, Victor, you are right. Okay, the okay. simple form, the normal form, if you use did in negative. Okay, yes. great, great. Thank you for participating, uh, Monica. Hernandez, the last sentence, please, in the simple present. We normally eat at 1 p.m. Okay, this is simple present, but we are studying simple past. Can you transform it in the simple past? We normally eat at 1 p.m. Okay, in the simple past, we don't need the this word the adverb of frequency, we, and what is the simple past of it? Simple past of it? Eight. Eight, uh, can you spell it? Can you spell it? Um, A, D, E, E. A, A, correct. A, T, E. T E. Okay, that is correct. Eight. You only change. Okay, you only change the vowel. We ate at 1 p.m. And this is simple past. Okay, simple past affirmative. What happens in the negative? Mm -hmm. We didn't eat at 1 p.m. Okay, we didn't eat at 1 p.m. Okay, very good. Guys, uh, one example, please, one example in simple past in the negative about one activity that you didn't do yesterday, during the day. I will start, I will begin. I didn't, I didn't watch any TV yesterday. I didn't watch any TV. Uh, let's see, uh, was Mabel, Mabel, are you in class, Mabel, they said? Mabel one, Mabel two. Yes. yes, okay. One activity in the simple passing negative. Something that you didn't I do. TV. Excuse me? I watched TV. Ah, okay, but that is in that is in affirmative in the simple past. I mean in negative. In negative. I didn't watch TV. Ah, okay. ah, no, that is my example. Okay, different example, different, change it. Use another verb. There are many verbs that you can use. Irregular, please. If you can, if you can try to use. I spoke, I didn't spoke. Mm, okay, I didn't spoke English in the morning, maybe. Okay, that is one, okay. Guys, is the sentence correct? I didn't spoke yesterday in the morning. Is that correct? No. Oh, no, the sentence is not correct in the negative in simple past. What do I do 
to correct it. What do I do? ¿Qué hago para corregir? What do I do to correct it? I didn't speak. I speak. Ah, okay. Normal verb, yes. Normal verb, speak. Okay, because you are using didn't. That's why. Okay, now is correct. Okay, continue. Let's see, uh, Josman. One activity that you didn't do yesterday. I okay. didn't. I uh, didn't watch TV. You didn't. That night. You didn't. I didn't uh, watch TV in the night. Okay, watch, I didn't watch TV last night, this last night. Okay, watch is a regular, okay? Watch is a regular verb. Uh, and finally, George, Jorge Lemus is in class. Jorge, Jorge. Yeah. Okay, one activity in negative, something that you didn't do yesterday. I... Activity uh -huh. that, you, activity. that you didn't do, correct? I I work in tomorrow. negative, negative because we I are studying. Uh -huh, I, I didn't, didn't work tomorrow. I didn't work yesterday. Yes, because, because I didn't work yesterday. Tomorrow, yesterday. Yesterday, only yesterday. Tomorrow is I, future. And yesterday is past. And we are setting simple past and we didn't. Okay, I that didn't is good. I didn't work yesterday. Okay, I didn't work yesterday. Yes, okay, it is correct. Okay. It is correct. Okay, very good. If you check normal verb, the verb is in the normal form. Or it doesn't matter if it's in regular or irregular. Normal verb. Okay, let's see what else we have about this. Irregular verb, simple past, forming. Questions. Forming questions. Okay. We form. Questions. Questions. Simple past by using the auxiliary. By using the auxiliary did. Did. Okay. We need to use the auxiliary did for making questions. Okay. We have uh, two type two type of questions. We have open questions, okay? Open questions, and we have closed questions. We have two types. One example of open question, do you know any, any question that can be open? We did. Did we you did. do your homework? Uh, that is closed. That is a closed question, but it's correct. Did you do your homework? What is a close question? This one. Why? Why is that a close question? Because you have only two options for the answer. The first one is affirmative. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Yes, I did. The first one is affirmative. And the second option is? No, I didn't. No, I, no, I didn't. didn't. Okay. That's why it's a closed question because you have only two options for your answer. Okay. That is a closed question. And what happens in an open question? What is an open question? You need Maybe. to, uh -huh. When did you visit? When did you visit uh -huh. to your parents? Uh, your parents. Okay. When did you visit your parents? Okay. This is an open question because is requesting, is asking for details or is asking for information. Okay. And what is the way that you can answer? Maybe I vis I visit my parent. I vis I visit visit. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. 
this is this is a regular verb this is a regular okay it's okay that you that you use regular verbs but remember when you use regular verbs the pronunciation they the pronunciation must be pronounced is i visited can you try it i i visited correct my parents uh, the last month last month okay last month okay very good very good what about if i change the verb i used uh, for example um, irregular verbs we have we have a lot okay but we can we can use some irregular verbs in these open questions too okay do you do you understand the difference between a closed question and an open question guys yes yes okay yes. wh questions is for open questions and for closed questions is only two options yes or no okay and that is the difference okay good good let's continue um instructor what is the structure for the questions we have did, did was subject plus was verb. Plus verb present form plus complement plus the question mark this is called mark. Uh, question mark yes the symbol question mark okay but this one in this structure is it a close or open question do you see a close or open question in this structure in for a closed question this is a for a closed question and what about if the structure what is the structure for an open question if you can change it okay this is for close i can copy it okay this is closed question and for open For an open question? WH. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, the WH, WH word, uh, plus? Plus did. Plus did, okay, plus did, and what else? Plus subject. Plus the subject, uh huh. Plus bird in the store. In the present form, okay, normal, normal verb, okay, plus complement, plus a complement, plus, plus question mark, plus a question mark, okay, that is correct, good. See, it is the same. Uh, WH word, did, subject, the normal verb. Um, this is um, this is another word, but in another class we can study this, okay the possessive adjectives your or that can be the complement your parents and the question mark it is the same see and for the closed questions did subject did is the subject the the normal verb and the complement and the question mark it is the same as you can see it como lo puede ver okay what is the indication in this part Reorder the words to form questions. Reorder the words to form questions. Okay, the first one is wake up. Uh -huh. Wake what up. The words John, wake up. John, John. Wake up. Time. What? What? Did. Did. Time. Okay, very good. Wake up. Okay. Time. Uh -huh. And what is the correct question for that part for this uh, for these words? What is the correct question? Wh word. But but uh -huh, but uh -huh, make it make it. I gotta what, what did what did, did uh -huh. John, John, John 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 what did John John wake up wake, wake up wake up, up. Wake up. Uh -huh, in time okay let's check what did john wake up time no is not the correct order 
Ajá. Es cuatán, John. Ah, ok, very good. So we need to correct. What time? ¿A qué hora? What time? Yeah. What time? Can you read it? Read it. Practice. Practice the question. What time, what time did John wake up? Ok. What time did John wake up? And the answer, the answer is? Eight o'clock. Uh, but that is that is only the complement. I need a subject and the verb in the simple past. We are using a simple past. We are studying simple past, yes. Uh -huh. Subject, what is the subject in the sentence? The subject in the sentence is? Die time. John, John is the, 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 subject. the subject, John. Okay, what, what is up? next? The subject. What ah, what is the simple past of wake up? Simple what? past. Okay, simple past. Okay, uh, I will copy this link to open this reg irregular verb list. Okay, this is the irregular verb list that you can get in this presentation. The link is there. I used a link. You only need to copy and paste. Okay, if you want to know the simple past, wake up, right? Yes, wake up. Wake up, let's see. Where is wake up? Where? Hey, it is not there. Walk. Okay, wake. Wake, the simple past is? Wake. Wake. Woke. Ah, the simple past is woke. See? Woke. Wake, walk, okay, but we have woke up, okay, that is the correct verb. John? Woke yeah. up, woke up, woke up, up. woke up at, at, at a.m. At a a 8 a.m., okay, and now it's correct. The simple past of the irregular verb is correct, okay, very good. And for the question, you need to use the auxiliary. Okay, what happens in the next one? The next question, exercise. Okay, let me make it bigger. Exercise the words. Can you read exercise. them? English. English. Exercise. Complete. English. Complete. 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 You in the. the. Okay. Uh -huh. What is the correct yeah. order in that question? What is the correct order? Did you complete? Did you complete? Did you? Okay, let me. Okay, did you complete? Uh -huh. Did you complete? Uh, the English exercise. The English exercise. Uh -huh. The platform. Did you complete the platform yesterday? Okay, similar, similar. Mm. Did you complete the English exercise? Correct. Okay, did you complete the English exercise? Open or close question? The second one. Uh, close question. It's close, close question, yes. The answer? The answer is yes, I did. Yes, no, I, did it. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Espero que sí. Yes, I. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, very good. Did it in the question. Okay, is correct. And did in the answer. Short answer. By the way, short answer. Respuesta corta. Okay, very good. It is correct. Okay, and the next the next question is. Or the words in this case. Study. Mm -hmm. Did last last Did year. Alice study the last year last year. Uh, okay, let's make it in order. What is the correct the correct way? Did Alice study study last year? Okay. Did Alice. Study, study 
last year. Uh -huh. I study last year. Close or open question? Close no. question. It is a close question. Okay, the negative short answer, guys. The negative short answer is? No, he didn't. No, uh -huh. correct, no. Yes, he did. No, then the negative, negative, negative short answer. Uh -huh. Negative, yes. No, no, she didn't. No, she? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Where, where is the verb to be in these options, in these words? I don't uh, see the verb to be. No, she didn't. Ah, okay. No, no she, she didn't. didn't. We are not using the verb to be. We have the verb to be in simple past, yes. But we are studying the simple past. Tense, el tiempo del simple past, not the simple past of the verb to be. That is a part that is different. Okay, no, she. No, she. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Hey guys, question for you. Um, did you did your mother cook a lasagna for lunch? Did your mother cook lasagna for lunch? Yes. She did. No. Ah, really? Really, Victor? My no, mom she did the best. The best um, how do you say cocinera? Um, how, how? Okay. Uh, Cooker or chef? Chef. Or uh, chef is more professional. Yeah. My mom is the best uh, chef. Ah, okay. Chef. Excellent. Okay. Victor said, yes, she. In she affirmative. Did. Yes, she did. Okay, yes, let's see. Um, Eric Eric Gonzalez is in class. Eric, yes, yes. Okay, Eric, did you did you complete the the model Principiante two last month? Yes. Did you complete? Did you complete it? Yes. Affirmative short answer. What is the affirmative short answer, guys? Yes, I did. I did. Yes, I did. Correct. Yes, I did. Correct. I did. Daniela Ines, what did you do on Saturday last week? What did you do? Aha, uh -huh. one activity, one activity only, solo one activity. What did you do? Uh huh. Okay, close or open? You gotta think. Okay, it's, the, ah, it's an open question because I want information from you. Ah, open question, yes. What did you do on Saturday last week? What activity? Simple activity. I washed my clothes. Ah, Saturday. you. Okay, you washed your clothes on Saturday. In Saturday uh, morning. Ah, okay, but remember. If you are going to use um, regular verbs, pronouns, the ED ending, okay? The ED ending. Okay, good. Excellent. Very good. Okay. No, she didn't in negative. Okay, very good. Questions, guys, in this part with the usage of did in the questions and the answers. Okay. Questions? No, I don't have. No, okay, Victor, Victor doesn't have, okay, Victor doesn't have any question. What about you? What about the rest? Is there any question, any doubt? Okay, this is, this is everything. Aquí está todo. Close question and open question with the simple past. Simple past, check, simple past, forming questions. Uh-huh. Okay, make me make me one close question. Make me one close question and one open question. Two. Close. Close is first. Close question is first. Uh huh. Any of you? Cualquiera. Any of you? I want a close question. Um. And you can use irregular verbs too. Ah, uh, irregular. Uh... You, you can use irregular verbs too. Uh huh. Close, close question. Did you lose? 
by pencil? Mm, no, I didn't because I didn't have your pencils. I didn't have your pencils. So, no, I didn't. No, I didn't lose them. No, no los perdí. No, I didn't lose them. See, ¿Sí? I didn't lose. What is the verb? Lose. Here it is. Normal verb. Yeah, normal verb in the normal form. I didn't say lost. No, I didn't lost. No, no, perdí, perdí. Mm, no, it's only one in, in the simple past. That is didn't. Okay, very good. And the open question in simple past. Where, where did you pay your bills? Where did you pay? Pay my bills. Uh, I paid my bill, my last bill, let's see, um, online. I did it online. I paid. Okay, I am using a irregular verb. The verb is pay, but the simple past is paid. Pay? Paid. Okay, paid. I said, as I said, paid. Yo dije paid. I paid my bill online. Okay, my last bill. Okay, very good. So, is there any question? No, guys, question? No, no, is, is that clear? When do we use did in closed question and did with open questions? Are you sure? Sure, sure? A hundred percent sure? I sure. Sure. Yes, okay, perfect. What do you need next after the class? What you need is only practice. I keep on practicing. You have the list and you can make questions with these verbs. Ah, uh, did you did you shake your hands? Did you shake your body, etc.? You can make any type of question, close and open. Okay, let's see. Next, what is next? What is next? Okay, and simple. Simple fast. Uh, there's no question. Yes, no um, question. Short answer. Short answers. Short answer. Ans answers. No, is answers. Answer. 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 Okay, what is the structure for the questions? Okay, close. This is close question. Did. Subject. Plus, subject uh, plus, present form. Plus, plus the complement. Uh, plus question mark. Okay, plus the question mark at the end. Okay. Um, the first one is Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I eat? Pasta last Monday. Okay. Did I eat? If I ask you, did I eat pasta last uh, let's see, last Sunday? Did I eat, guys, pasta last Sunday? Uh -huh. In the answer, the short answer is? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Uh, no, it's not yes, I did. No, the I is for me. The subject I is for me. And you answer? Uh, did you eat pasta last Friday? No, no, I mean, the question, the question for you is, guys, did I eat pasta last Sunday? Si le digo que sí, your answer should be? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I did. No, no, I. You. Yes, you. you. Did. Yes, you did. Correct. Yes, you did. Uh, very good. Yes, you did. See, sí, teacher, usted sí comió because I am telling you that I did, that I did it. Que sí lo hice. Okay. That depends on the question and that depends on who answers. Depende de quién pregunte y quién conteste. Okay. Clear? Is that clear? When, when people, uh, when people make you, makes you, when people make this question, Ah, uh, do you know, did I, did I close the door? Do you know if I close the door? Did I close it? 
No. No, you didn't. No, you, no, you didn't. didn't. Correct. No, you didn't. Correct. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Next. Next uh, question is, did you? Read it. Eat read it, please. Pasta last Friday. Did you eat did pasta, you eat pasta last, last Friday? Friday? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, Josman, did you eat? Did you eat pasta last uh, Friday? Well, in my case, yes, I did. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. Okay, Victor. No, I didn't. And Josman, no, I didn't. Okay, very good. If you see, you have the affirmative. Okay, you have the affirmative and the negative short answers. Okay, let me ask uh, Carolina. Hello, hello, Carolina. Are you in class yet? Yes. Okay, did you... Did you, um, let's see, did you use your computer yesterday? No, I didn't. No, you didn't use it. Okay, good. No. Okay, nice. Um, Alan, Alan, hello, Alan. Is Alan in class, in this class? Yes. Is Alan present? Present, teacher. Okay, Alan, uh, did you, did you go out? Any place on Saturday? Did you go out? No, I didn't. No, you didn't go out. Okay, very good. See, the short answers are very simple, but you need to focus on the subject. The subject only, only the subject. Okay, let's see. And for the next one is... She... Did he... Did he eat pasta last Friday? Okay. Uh, what about Victor? Uh, Victor said that he that he ate. Did Victor eat pasta last Friday? Yes, he did. Yes. Uh, yes, I, I, he did. did. Not the answer is yes, he did because uh, you are saying. You are referring to Victor. Se está refiriendo okay. a Victor, not to you. Okay? okay. To okay. him, not to you. A él, no a usted. Okay, let me ask. Candy, did you did you play? Do you have children, Candy? No? No, I don't have. Okay, uh, sister, do you have any sister, brother? Yes. One, one sister and one. two brothers. Okay, one sister. Did you play with your sister um, during the week? Last last week. Did you play with your sister? No. No. No, she didn't. Okay, no, but Candy, your answer, your your answer first. No. I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, guys, if I ask you the to the rest, did Candy play? With her sister last uh, last uh, week. The answer no, is no. No, 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 she, she didn't. didn't. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. didn't. No, she didn't. Correct, because you are referring to her. Okay, very good. And let's see. If I ask you, did we have class last night? Did we have, guys? Did we have yes. class? Yes. Yes. We did. yes, we did. Very good. Very good. Okay. Did uh, okay, did they, for example, did my parents did my parents uh, uh, phone themselves? Se hablaron? Did my parents phone themselves? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Uh, do you parents? Mm -hmm. First, I, I, I should be the question. Uh, okay. But you mean, I guess you mean, uh, are your parents together? Maybe. Okay. I, but I am asking about, did my, did my parents phone themselves? Se hablaron. Last night, did my, did my parents phone? No, they didn't. No, correct. 
Because I am no, saying no. No, they didn't. They didn't phone. Phony is a verb. Phone is a verb. What is phone? What is phone? Phone can be the object, okay? A cell phone, the object. But we have it as a verb too. Ten, lo tenemos como verbo too. Phone, okay? Is, irre, is regular. Simple past. Regular verb. Yes, phone. Okay, very good. If you check, those are the affirmative and negative short answers depending on the subject. Okay, only focus on the subject and you will know. Okay, questions? Questions in this part? No questions. No? It's not clear. Okay, it's clear. Okay, perfect. Okay, what have what have what do we have in this part? We have uh, some listening exercises. We have uh, four links. Okay, you can use them. Uh, to learn and study about simple past of the irregular verbs, okay, about these ones, about irregular verbs, so you can learn more. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have grammar, that is this list with the pronunciation, see? Break. Break, simple present. What is break? <laughs> break, <laughs> yes, and simple past is? Broke. 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 Correct. Broke. 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 Only focus in simple present and simple past. The third form, we don't use it by now. Todavía no lo usamos by now. That is the past the participle for another tenses. But forget that. Forget that by now. For ahorita, don't study this. Okay. Only simple past. Simple present for the infinitive in the simple past. Okay, and let's see what else we have. Ah, of course, we have exercises, grammar exercises. Let's check. Um, I copy the link. This is just to show you, solo para mostrarle. Irregular verbs, easy. Ah, the easy part. Is, ah? Uh, crossword. What is crossword? What is crossword? Crossgrammar. Uh, okay, very good. See, you have the indication and you can find the simple past of the irregular verbs in this crossword. That is for you to practice. And you have one, two, three, four links more. So if you want to study, review and learn irregular verbs, you have enough material to do so. Okay, questions, guys? Questions, doubts? Questions, nope? No, I don't have. You don't, you don't, you don't have any. Okay, perfect, perfect then. Okay, guys, um, this was uh, the class of today. Tomorrow, we will have the last class of the third week tomorrow, the last class. Uh, the class is already in Google Drive, so you can download it, okay? Okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you for participating and connecting to the class. Review, review and study so you can improve para que mejore in English. Review and study and practice in your free time. See you, see you tomorrow in the last class at night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you, see of you course, tonight, see you teacher. tomorrow then. Have a great night. See you. Rest. Rest a lot. Bye bye. Take tomorrow. care, all of you. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Connect. Connect on time tomorrow night. See you. <laughs>